So I enjoyed that uh, old school so much that I had to do another beer tonight from the Dean's List. Mr. Mike Dean, this is his Vernal Equinox. It is a recipe that he took from the January, February of 2016 uh, Zymergy magazine. Uh, that won a silver medal at the 2016 JBF Pro-Am. So this is the second go around, I believe. 6.5% ABV, 56 IBU. Um, I think the first time he did it, he used some kind of substitute hops. This time, I think it was true to the recipe. Ooh, nice carb on this. Really nice carb. Beauty. Beauty. So this is a little bit darker than the old school that I just had a little while ago. This is closer to almost an amber. Let's see if I can get a little, that's, that's pretty good right there. That's almost an amber color. It's like a really dark burnt orange, but it's really pretty. It's really, really clear. Beautiful looking beer. It's got kind of a another kind of off-white head on it. Love the labels on these, Mike. Ooh. It's got a really pleasant aroma, but it's not jumping out of the glass. It's, again, some of this is um, kind of comparing it to the old school, which was super kind of punchy. This is a little bit more subtle. It's still got some light citrus on it. But I'm picking up almost more of a floral note than any anything else. Kind of like a... Almost like a orange blossom type floral. That's oh, really nice. You can tell the malt on it's pretty light. And, and it smells really clean. Um, so we're going to jump into this. Cheers. Ooh. That is refreshing. The hops are punchier in the flavor than it is in the nose. Oh, that's yummy. The crazy thing is, is there are some similarities to the old school in this one. And so really, you, uh, to me, there's obviously, there's differences in the recipe. They're different, different beers, different hops. Um, but what I really, really enjoy, and it's awesome getting to taste several different beers from the same brewer, is that regardless of different recipe, different, you know, kind of somewhat approaches to the beer, this is more of a, um, you know, this is a 6.5% IPA that wasn't even Mike's original recipe. The old school, which I still got the bottle right here, is his original recipe, bigger beer, much heavier on the malt, a little bit lighter on the malt, a little bit more citrus forward. This to me is a little bit more floral, um, but still has citrus notes. But there's a commonality between these two that I would imagine is more than just recipe. I think this is technique. I think this is water. I think this is just Mike Dean and the Dean's List. And these are kind of, you get kind of, a character of a brewer, and which is what I love about different breweries, is that, uh, oops, power's running low, is that you kind of get a house flavor. You kind of get a house flavor to a lot of your beers, even though your beers can taste very different, there's a commonality still there. And I can taste it in this beer. It's got a really nice mouthfeel. Same thing with the old school. 
a really, it's not heavy, but it's definitely medium, um, on the higher side of a medium mouthfeel. The carbonation is spot freaking on. I'm trying not to spill here. I mean, you just give it a little, little swirl, and that thing just comes right back. You get a little bit of, little bit of legs. It's a beautiful beer. It's, it's crystal clear. I can see why you like this, Mike. It's really nice. Gosh, I'm trying to play some of these other flavors. It's got a hint of a caramel note in the background. But I'm getting like super floral. Super floral with kind of a, um, almost like an orange zest. Instead of like orange marmalade, like the old school is a little bit kind of a sweeter kind of orange profile. This is a little bit more of like an orange rind zest. It's really, really nice. Really nice. <laughs> what an awesome night. You are making the night, uh, Mr. Dean, and a great Saturday. Cheers, brother. Thank you for sending these beers down. I've still got another one to go, and I've got one more of these as well in the fridge I get to enjoy later. So, cheers, Mike. Beautiful beer. And I wish that would pick up a little bit better, how clear that is. It is gorgeous. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time. Cheers.